Hey YouTube, this is Steven with the Collector Store, um, in the confines of my awesome home. Uh, just doing a quick video, uh, just got into the shop recently, the Born of the Gods Battle the Horde deck for the game day event. I'm very excited, the Hydra deck was such a success, and everyone had so much fun with it. Uh, we're going to shoot another rules video, which is what this one's going to be, and then we're going to do another series of Battle the Horde. So look forward to that. So we're going to go ahead and go over these rules. We're going to try to make it quick. And then that way you'll be ready for the game day event when it comes up. And uh, we'll have the date for that and more details in the description below. And be sure to check out our website, CollectorStore.com. We do have Born of the Gods set on sale right now for $9.99 a box. And a discount the more boxes you buy. So check that out as well. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so the Battle of the Horde deck itself is going to be 60 cards. It's going to have 43 creatures, 10 sorceries, and 7 artifacts. We'll go more into that later. Um, the rules for this game is going to be really simple. Um, first of all, you uh, get to start off with 3 different hero cards. Unlike last time when it was fight against the Hydra, you start off with 2, now you get 3. That's always nice. Uh, to make it easier and harder, you get bonus turns. They recommend you take 3 bonus turns at the start of the game. We're going to probably mess around with that and try to make it harder on ourselves when we actually do our battle videos. Um, when you attack, you're actually going to be attacking the deck itself, not the creatures. So it's not like the Hydra battle. This time you're attacking the deck. And then every time the deck takes one point of damage, it's going to mill the top card of the deck to the graveyard. If you mill an artifact card, that's how you're going to get your hero's reward. Unlike with the Hydra deck, which is easily popping the heads off to the graveyard, this time you have to send the artifacts to the graveyard. Um, you can also target the Horde with spells and abilities, so like Magma, Jet, Magma Jets, uh, Searing Spears will make it mill. It's always nice. Um, and also, at the beginning of the Horde's turn, it's going to reveal the top two cards of the deck, and then those cards are going to be cast for free, just like the Hydra was. Um, so that's how it's going to replenish its field, and it's going to keep the battle up. Uh, again, you make all the choices for the Hydra deck, you ignore any impossible effects, including having the Horde draw or discard cards. And then if the Horde's permanents are removed from the field and sent to anywhere except the library or graveyard, just send it to the graveyard instead. So if you have anything that says exile target artifact, it's going to be sent to the graveyard instead. Um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Very simple, very easy. You win the game when the deck is completely milled out. And like I said, the 60 and you lose when your life points reaches zero. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how we do against this deck. If you want a little bit of a sneak peek, I'm going to give you guys a chance to see some of the cards. Uh, first of all, all the creatures in the deck. They're all mentors and are minotaurs, and they all have haste, and they all have to attack each turn if able. So they won't be around to actually block for the deck. Um, and again, though, if for some magical reason they are, you get to make the decision for the deck, for the horde. So if it's smart for them to block a world spine worm, um, they're probably going to block it. Um, otherwise, they might just um, let it go through so that way they're able to attack and kill a player next turn or something. Um, also, uh, they have the 10 sorcery cards, which I haven't read yet. I want to keep those a surprise for even myself. But what I can show you are the artifacts. All the artifacts have a hero's reward, which I haven't read all of them yet. I've only read this one. Um, and also, they do all say, however, at the beginning of the Horde's pre-combat main phase, the Horde deck gets to reveal an additional card. So that's really good for them. Um, they make themselves harder with each artifact on the field. So you want to make sure you get these artifacts away from the deck as quickly as possible. Since there's only seven of them, they shouldn't draw into them. You should more than likely mill them. But um, you want to make sure you mill those. So take advantage of those bonus turns if you can. Which I'm pretty sure they give us those bonus turns just to build up our mana in case we're mana screwed. Um, again, we're going to play around with that see how it goes. Should be fun. Hope you guys enjoy it yourselves. Um, be sure to check out our website, collectorstore.com. Check out what we have on sale there. Um, also, stay tuned for more information on our game day event. Uh, should be really exciting, and if you're in the St. Charles, St. Louis, O'Fallon, St. Peter's area, anywhere in Missouri or Illinois, frankly, 
come on by, check out what we have, check out our events. We have it all up on our website. Keep that up to date and check us out on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash collectorstore.com. So, um, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, let's go play some magic.